Hi, Leo. So I thought I'd just put this out for you guys really quickly now. And this is your um, <clears throat> current status of your love life reading, Leo. You guys stay tuned and wait up for your December monthly love and spirituality readings for every sign, pretty much. Um, just hang tight for those, okay? So, Leo, this is for you. If you're a Leo sun, moon rising, and or Venus, right? Anywhere Leo falls for you, if it falls in those places, this reading is for you. Um, you guys can find out where Leo is for you in your chart by checking out the um, link in the description bar down below if you don't already know. If you're cross-watching, feel free to do so. You're so welcome to cross-watch. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so what's the current status of your love life? All right, Leo, you guys are protecting your emotions from negativity. You're just successfully overcoming narcissistic abuse, okay? And you got a new beginning now, okay? I feel like you guys have been defending your love life, defending something about your relationship. You might have even needed to get back the upper ground because you had some sort of energetic attack, some sort of burden in your life, someone trying to be like, you know, trying to tear you guys down or tear you away from who you love. You got back the upper ground from this person in the distant past. And then in the recent past, you've been, you know, noticing changes. I feel like you guys do not fully see the changes. You might be hearing about it. You might be having a funny feeling about the changes that have been going on, even on your person side, to facilitate making it easier for you to be together with your person, facilitate making your dreams happen with your person. But you don't, you don't really fully see it yet. <clears throat> you might not fully trust it, okay? So you guys, you guys are waiting for something to come to pass, okay? And what that is, is perhaps separation, perhaps even a breakup. Um, it could even be somebody coming away from you, somebody um, going through a change, even somebody passing away and dying, okay? <laughs> so you guys are hoping for this because you're surrendering, okay? You guys are surrendering to what needs to be done. A lot of you guys, you guys are just um, allowing yourself to just surrender to your perspective of the situation and this perspective that the situation that you have is that this person the situation it triggered you this person really hurt you okay <clears throat> this was a separation and a loss that you were not willing to deal with i also feel like you guys were very embarrassed by this whatever happened here So because of that, you were waiting for um, just the right time to do something. I also feel like your person was doing this as well. If you're connected with the, with a person, they were also waiting for somebody to go through a change, for some sort of change to happen, for some for there to be a material increase. I also feel like you guys didn't even really know what you were waiting for. I also like I just feel like you guys were kind of just investing in a situation hoping that it will pan out, but not really being sure if it will because there's someone interfering. But even though you got back the upper ground energetically, okay, from this person, this, this is just somebody who's jealous, okay? You just saw your worth, okay? And you kept on working on your love life and you also safeguarded your mind from negativity, okay? <laughs> so this was an attack on and getting back the upper ground from like rivals, a, a, a water sign man, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man, or just somebody who might have been trying to, you know, acting from their heart, and also a fire sign woman, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius woman, who was also doing the same thing. She might have been trying to hold on to you, or you were trying to hold on to her, or something was going on to you and whoever these people are. They were also rivaling you. You know, these folks here, they might have been taking advantage of you, okay? For a lot of them, though, they were sent to heal you, okay? They might have been healing you in a way that you did not understand. But ultimately now, the current status of your love life is that you're receiving a new opportunity for love and a new beginning in love, okay? A new chance for you guys to heal your heart and safeguard your emotions. Now, this what is this new beginning in love that you're getting <clears throat> in the form of safeguarding your emotions? This is your comfort zone being established. Something is happening that's putting you in your comfort zone. And you guys are also shedding, letting go of something, shedding something, letting go of the past, shedding a situation um, that no longer serves you anymore or possibly never did. You guys are also um, getting deeper intimacy with your person. Um, 
and this is very much in your comfort zone. Jeez, I feel like you guys cannot really even fully understand what's going on in your love life. What's what's really going on in your love life is that your your investment is paying off, and you guys are being protected from narcissistic abuse and getting a new beginning in love. And you guys are also having um, your inner creative worlds open up as a result, so feeling more creatively inspired. Um, and you guys are also, you know, going to be spending more time with people in situations that don't drain you. You guys are coming out of a situation that was draining you before, perhaps realizing how you were being dealing with somebody who was draining you okay this is so like strange i understand so you guys are safeguarding your emotions because that's what needs to be done and you know you're getting this new beginning because um this is what you deserve a lot of you guys are embracing yourself fully you are divine feminine or you're dealing with your divine feminine if that's the nature of your relationship um, you're dealing with your divine feminine and this person embraces themselves fully and they love you so you don't have anything to worry about a lot of you guys are just getting back the emotional upper ground in love a lot of people around you might have been trying to tear you down and you might have had to like felt like you were defending yourself in this situation you know you know whatever this current situation is right now in your love life you know and just in the recent past you were making an investment and waiting and then in the distant past when it came to this very same situation that you're getting emotional protection on or that you're feeling like okay you can just not deal with the toxicity on it anymore you know in the distant past you were dealing with battle you had to surmount some sort of challenge you know lots of people competing even if this person is very attractive you know you might have needed to um deal with that or embrace your own inner sexuality some of you guys you you um you know, might deal with somebody who has a lot of potential suitors, possibly even you do. You have a lot of potential suitors. You deal with somebody who is very emotional. Perhaps you're very emotional. And you guys were healing, embracing yourself fully, healing this part of yourself, taking action more from this part of yourself than ever before. So much was happening in your love life. But the main thing that was going on was that you were surmounting an energetic, a spiritual attack. Somebody was spiritually attacking you. Somebody was trying to spiritually attack your love connection. They were just trying to tear you down, sending you evil eye at the very least, you know, just not wishing you well, jealous, you know? And so you had to do all this battle in love and now you're just safeguarding your emotions. You don't have to, you're getting a new chance to never have to do battle in love. A lot of you guys realize this in the recent past that you don't have to do battle, but it's because you invested into something. Somebody, somebody even who hurt you, they got hurt. And you're understanding how that wasn't a wasted investment. You still got what you wanted. And also that person who slighted you before, they got slighted right down, all the way down. So you guys confronted a major abandonment wound, a block to passion and a block to creativity and, and optimism and you know a cause of lethargy and all that stuff. So on your mind from now to the next time we talk, Leo, <clears throat> your intuition is on your mind, keeping things a secret as well you know, maintaining your own world separate from everybody else. A lot of you guys are doing a lot of learning. You're also working on something very secretive and private. Now, what this is, is on your worries. This might be dealing with your worries. You might be talking to somebody about your worries, talking to a psychic, private investigator, even to investigate your love life, to investigate a situation. You know, some of you guys, you know, you talking to a root worker, you know, thinking about it because you want to fix something going on in your love life. So, you know, your intuition is guiding you and telling you the 100% truth about something that you're worried about. And you're just going to be trusting your intuition from now to the next time we speak. And the reason why is because you love who you're with. You're in a soulmate connection, 100%. And, um, you know, everything's going to work out perfect. You might just have some fake friends. Everything, I feel like it's not even the fake friends anymore. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there are friends in your life that you might consider friends that in time you're going to see that they were working against you once you start to give to yourself you're going to realize how they always were but then there's also this thing this 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 narrative that everything is working out in your love life everything is going to work out with this love connection that you're in right now and so um it freaks you out a little bit that's why you have worries but you also have worries because you do have friends people around you who don't really want it to work out they might not even really see it that way for you some of them they just don't want it to work out for you Things are not working out for them either, right? But whatever, what's new? Karmic love readings coming right up. Um, but ultimately, you know, everything's gonna work out for you just great. 
you know, but perhaps if you don't deal with these worries, maybe these people, they could bring about some sort of change in your love life that you don't really want. Okay, so I feel really drawn to the energy oracle. So, you know, you're gonna, you're ha your family is happy. You're gonna have a happy family, happy family life. Your trust in the unknown is here and returning. You're gonna actually feel more guided to be um, alone, to be dealing with spiritual things, meditation, dealing with your feelings, um, dealing with creative endeavors and pursuits, okay? You guys are also dealing with the angel of love. The angel of love is coming to you guys over the, from now to the next time we talk and healing you letting you know that you deserve love no matter what you guys are healing so much a lot of you guys your mind's eye is healing as well you're um raising up your vibration about what you expect for yourself a lot of you guys are setting intentions that are more in alignment with who you are and not giving up you're not giving up and quitting on yourself <clears throat> finally leo you guys have a beautiful comfort zone you can come out of it to see the world outside of you, you're going to, you're going to come out of your comfort zone a little bit this week to spend time outdoors, spend time with people who you might not know, you might be wanting to get to know, you might decide you like them, you might decide you don't like them. It doesn't really matter, you know, um, but you're going to be spending time on, you know, outside of where you normally go to, you know, where your normal comfort zone is. Now, Leo, your true love oracle message is luminosity. You guys are very luminous and shiny and bright and beautiful and attractive. A lot of you guys if who are connecting with the divine feminine, um, perhaps, especially if you're a man dealing with a woman, you know, you're and you're in love with her. She's divine feminine energy, right? She's exuding a lot of luminosity. She's very um, sweet and gentle and submissive and subdued and stuff like that and this might really excite you about her and this person is showing up this way a lot this week okay and this is also bringing out these luminous qualities in you where you love nature and you might love things that are very um light and butterflies even flower stuff like that your interest in that is going to be reawakened this week you might even be drawing yourself closer to flowers you know, wanting to purchase flowers even, you know, for whatever reason or the other, depending on what season it is for you, whatever flowers are in season right now, right? Wanting to purchase flowers. And it's just because you're letting that luminous quality shine through you, especially for my Leo ladies here, you're shining bright as very luminous and sweet and gentle and you're very attractive. You're a, you have a bright light around you and upon you shining from within you. And so a lot of people are just drawn to you. They're magnetized to you. All right, so Leo, this is your current status of your love life reading. I hope that it resonated with you. You guys are getting away from narcissists and finally having a new beginning in love as a result. I'll talk to you guys very soon, Leo. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for your monthlies.